crafter and welcome to my channel crafters autonomous today I am going to be bringing you part two of my DIY fairy garden little mini series and today we're going to focus on pathways and fences so let's start with making some fences we can of course use popsicle sticks or sticks we find outside in the yard so let's start by going through a couple different fence designs with the popsicle sticks these ones here are ones that I cut down. If you want to know the tip for cutting them down, be sure to watch last week's video. I show a little hack on how to cut them really easily. And then these are just normal size popsicle sticks. For my first fence design, I'm going to make little segments and I will have posts from half a popsicle sticks. And then I will use two full size popsicle sticks to run slats back and forth. I've also had my glue gun heating up here and I'll have a link for this in the description. But the first design is really simple. A dab of glue here, a dab of glue here, and a long popsicle piece running as a slat across. And then repeat with our second long popsicle stick. A dab of glue, a dab of glue, and our second popsicle stick. You can make individual fence pieces. You could also stick another post in the middle if you want, which I think I'm going to. So I'll just flip this guy over. Little glue little glue and then my next post so this is one fence style another option is to make our fence slats be crisscrossed so i'm going to start by gluing my crisscross pieces together put a dot of glue in the middle and then a crisscross piece on top and i only want to angle it so much so that way it doesn't spread further apart than the height of my side piece and then to attach my post for my fence, I'm gonna run it kind of between them. You could also put it to the front or the back, just the way mine's bent a little bit here, that's gonna fit really nicely in between there. I'm gonna put a dot of glue on this side, a dot of glue on this side, and slide my post right in there. And then repeat on the opposite side. Dot of glue, a dot of glue, and add the fence post. Now another idea with the popsicle sticks is you can either use halves or you can use whole pieces, but instead of gluing them together, we can stick them into the ground side by side, just like this, and create a cute upright fence. Or if you like this look, but you wanna add a little more detail and you want it to stay securely together, you can always run a slat across it. Now the fairies that live in my garden, I think they've been watching some HGTV that want me to step my game up here just a little bit. So if your fairies are like mine, they may not want the natural wood look, they may want it to be stained. But these fences are so microscopic, buying an actual can of stain would be kind of excessive for the amount of fencing you will likely make. So I'm gonna show you the affordable hack to fake a wood stain for this project. I've got a cup here that I've put just a little bit of water in. I've got a paintbrush, and I have this 50 cent apple barrel acrylic paint in the color chestnut. And basically, we're gonna put just a little bit of paint in our water, and it's gonna make a fake stain. So we'll start with just a small amount, mix it in. It looks kind of gross right now, it'll, it'll get better, I promise. And then once you get the color you want, paint it on your fence and it will act like a low budget stain. The other advantage of making this fake stain is you can go with crazy colors. You don't have to stick with a traditional browns and tans and wood tones. You can go with a bright pink or a blue, whatever color you want for your fairy garden. Also, don't forget to protect your work surface. I just don't really care if the surface gets dirty or not, but if you do care about that, make sure that you have something down while you're painting because the stain can run all over the place. And of course, if staining it isn't really your style, you could just paint it a solid color, paint it with a design, or leave them plain. So now let's move on to making fences using sticks we find in the yard. So I have a nice little kindling collection here. And we can do a lot of the same looks that we did with the popsicle sticks. For example, I can break several pieces to the same height and stick them into the ground side by side to create a very rustic wooden fence. We can also get out our glue gun and imitate the style of the fence with slats. So we'll take two or three pieces to the same height for my fence post. And then a couple pieces to go across. And once more, glue it all together.
Make sure to leave enough length at the bottom so that way you can stick it into the ground. If you want to take this look to the next level, you can also get out some of the thread that we used in last week's video. Cut off a piece and wrap it around where we've joined the spots. So wrap it a few times that way and then wrap it in the opposite direction to create the little crisscross. And then just make sure to leave a long enough tail to tie it from both sides. Looks a little something like this from the back side and like that from the front. If you want to get rid of the tails, you can put a little dab of hot glue on the knot, securely hold it, and then trim the tails. And I'll repeat that for the other four crisscross pieces. And of course, if you want, you can wrap it with a thread without hot gluing at first, but hot gluing at first makes the wrapping just a little bit easier and you don't have to rely on a thread to hold the fence together all the way. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is how to make pathways. And I've got a few different ideas I will share with you and then we'll go put everything out in the fairy garden. So I still have some leftover rocks and pebbles from when I was building the fairy house. So I can use these to make walkways. I can also use these rocks to line the edges of my walkways. Another idea is to use bottle caps. You can create some really pretty quote, stepping stones. Obviously they're not really stones, but you get the idea, make little stones. And also these are a really fun way to make a little table or a little chair. You can glue a bottle cap onto a couple rocks to make a little chair and onto a taller rock to make the table. And then I also have some colorful sand. Now this is sand that I colored using paint. I'll link to the video where I show how to do that. You could of course use plain sand. You can get this from the beach. Maybe you have a creek that runs through your yard that you can get some sand from, or otherwise you can buy sand from the dollar store. So let's put the fences and the pathways out in our fairy garden. <laughs> So after doing some minor repairs on the fences on, on the fairy garden home, my little fairy garden is really coming together. I think it looks so cute now that we've kind of defined the area with some of these landscaping and laying out the rocks and creating the pathway and the fences and the little stepping stones. It's really starting to create a magical little area. So now that we've got the landscaping, we've established the space, I'm ready to start working on some of the other decorations that I'm gonna put in my fairy garden. So I hope you enjoyed the ideas in this video and hopefully it gives you inspirations to try your own ideas for decorations for your fairy garden. Make sure to come back next week for another installment in this mini series. Happy crafting!